are you ready to hang with your digital besties? What Day Is It? is a podcast covering every girl problem, life struggle, and biz reality out there. So pour yourself a glass of wine and get ready to laugh, relate, and celebrate not having it all together. Immediately, I thought, oh, all the good guys are going to be snatched up. Like, uh, like shoot. And and that's so stupid. It's like, um, you don't know, you don't need a guy. So right there was my first, my first, like turning my, my thinking around and being like, I don't need anyone to complete me. Like I could be a happy, crazy cat lady on the beach, you know, and um, like, that'll be great if that comes in. But um, yeah, I don't need anyone to complete me. And that was my biggest thing. And then the business it was kind of hard thinking about oh no like people hired us because we were husband and wife like that's so fun and um and yeah I think as I just started to let go and um like not be in control and micromanage things and just like I said be honest and walk every day out 110 percent that's where I just like found a crazy piece all right friendships welcome back (laughs) Um, it's what day is it? We're still social distancing, so we're trying new things here, but yeah, it's your digital version of quarantine happy hour. I'm Jackie Rye. You didn't even introduce yourself. I'm Jackie Rye, influencer lead for Play Digital, other half of this dysfunctional podcast. I'm here today with Bailey Stanworth, your other, your co-host, and what, your dog? I was trying not to hog the intro, so I was trying to break it up. Nice. But yeah, if you're tuning in for the first time, I um, hope you're surviving. I mean, I hope you're surviving if you're not tuning in for the first time, social distancing. But I'm Bailey Stanworth, the founder of Play Digital and State of Grace and the other half of this podcast. And someone ha- gave me a title and now I forgot it. They slid into my DMs and gave me a title. But I now I can't, I'm going to have to find it for next week. Or if you forgot. I did. Um, okay, so do you have a cute or psycho for me? Why did I just call it cute or psycho? It's cute but psycho. No, you're saying Bailey. I haven't seen Bailey in like two weeks and she already forgets about our segment. All right, then. <laughs> um, do you have a cute but psycho? I do, but they're like kind of mediocre. Well, like- I mean, we're not leaving our house, so they can't really get that good. But <laughs> we're going to try and just be our true idiotic selves for you guys well yeah mine's kind of wrapped into one so i decided to make banana bread because what else do you do when you are self isolating slash social distancing you resort to quarantine 15 and you yes yes (laughs) all i do is eat like honestly this is probably like a psycho on its own it's like what else is there to do when you stay at home Oh, and then you just like, oh, should I bake that? Like the other night I made edible cookie dough for one because why not? It really just sounds like you made like special cookie dough. What do you mean? Like edible cookie dough? Well, it's just like egg free and you could eat it. Yeah, and it it sounds like you're having edibles at home. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually edible cookie dough, but um, it didn't taste very good because you need brown sugar. Anyways. I don't have all the ingredients because I'm not a baker. Clearly, this ties into my psycho, but I tried to be cute and make this banana bread. And I was like, to Jordan, yeah, like I used to bake. I'm so good at it. What are you talking about? So I bake it. I'm so pumped to eat it. It's like chocolate chip, really good, gluten free. And then it just completely screws me over and it doesn't cook through the middle. So I like took it out. And the toothpick, like I know the toothpick trick, you stick it in the banana bread, you take it out. If it's clean, it's in the clear. It was doing that. But when I took it out, it was like completely soft and jiggly in the middle. Jiggly. Yeah. And I was like, oh no. So I'm missing a binding ingredient or something. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I did follow Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> a Pinterest ingredient or whatever they're called what, a recipe oh my god I had a coffee I was making one while you called me and I haven't had it. I can see it staring at me right now oh, get it. well I need to froth my milk so with your you know, get over broke it there. yeah um so then I put it back in the oven for I'd say like 15 more minutes but at this point it had cooled too much and like once once baking 
mm-hmm. kind of sat out. You can't really go back, but I thought you could go back. So I put it back in, take it back out. Same thing. Like the toothpick came out clean. I was like, hell yeah, I fixed it. Turns like, hell yeah. And then I let it sit and it goes jiggly in the middle again. And okay, here's the, where it gets even more psycho. Is it. that what? You ate it. I'm still eating it. Exactly. <laughs> it's still on my counter. I've been like slowly we've cut from the inside out where the more cooked. You part should try of- like when you slice it, put it in the oven and broil it and see if that makes it like crispy at all. Well, I just feel like with the egg sitting there for the last two days, I'm a little bit, I don't eat it. It's so psycho of me, but I don't eat it in big chunks. I feel better eating it in little chunks because if I'm going to get sick, then at least I'll know. And then I won't have a huge bunch of it in my stomach. That's good. (sighs) Cheers. What's your your cute? (laughs) My cute was that I baked banana bread. I told you it was wrapped in one. Oh, I mean, I don't think your cute can be cute if it <laughs> I have no other cute things that I've done. I literally just, like, I've been a zombie. I put on makeup today for this, and I put on perfume and lipstick to feel normal. How do you put on perfume? <laughs> yeah, because it smells nice. <laughs> I'm like, on the other hand, I'm like, I'm not going to waste my perfume. That shit's expensive. Yeah, yeah. I only use it once, so probably still gonna use it. You don't know how long we're gonna be inside. Do you not want to smell nice? I. It's not like I don't put on deodorant. Yeah, I know, but like, I it's not to wear my Dolce and Gabbana Femme that costs a hundred dollars a bottle <laughs> for me. You have a boyfriend. It's different. I don't. <laughs> well, I, I do. I, I'm not putting this on for him. This is for me and Harvey. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right well harvey likes the smell of his own farts and banks his mouth so i'm not sure that he is acquired to the taste of your perfume true um okay cupid psycho my cute is why did i just forget my cute what's wrong with you i don't know i'll start with my psycho because i know that um so you see the sitch with a couple nails missing um I'm predicting now that summer 2020 or fall 2020, the outgrown look is going to be a trend. Mm -hmm. We're going to have these lashes that are grown out, roots that are grown out, nails that are grown out. Um, But anyways, I can't live this lifestyle. So I ordered a nail kit off of Amazon, complete with a gel light, about seven shades of nail polish, three files, um, an electric drill, nail tips, nail glue, the brush that you like dust the dust off your hands with, cuticle oil. Um, so professional. The dust that you dust. <laughs> I went I went big. You know how they say go big or go home? I mean, I'm already home, so I just went big. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. There will be an update. Um, it'll either turn into a cute or another psycho. Um, like how you, I think it's a cue, but if you think it's a psycho, then you do you. But I just think that, like, is being resourceful. I think it's a psycho that I now have, like, a full Nails R Us studio in my home. What would your nail salon be called? Um, I said that on um, my story, and someone said Bale's Nails. Um, but I think we should ask the friendships in the Facebook group to come up with a name. Yeah, they're for witty. We need some witty. Yeah, it'll be my new my new side business. It's got to be good. She's gonna do my nails. Hi, Harvey. Wow. And I'll let you know what my uh, my rate is. But, <laughs> Christ. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was my psycho. Um, I don't. Oh fuck! I had a cute, and I, now I totally forgot. Did I write it down? Let's see. Wow, we're not prepared today because I just realized I don't have a shower thought. This is what my Cupid Psycho says. It's a list in my phone, and it says Cupid Psycho, and then there's the letter M underneath. So I don't know what I was <laughs> really for there, but you're hilarious. I like how you're trying to like be proactive and do it, but yeah, so. it didn't really work. I don't know. I don't feel like I've done anything really that cute. I've been supporting small businesses, so I could say that's cute, but that's cute. That's kind of it. <laughs> There's not a lot cute going on these days, guys. Haven't put a bra on in probably eight days. Even when I went out of my house the other day, didn't put one on. No, you, wait, where did you go? Um, to my storage unit. <laughs> For some oh, so the outing of the day, the yeah, storage unit. It was a wild outing. Don't worry, no one's there. It was just me. Um, 
Also, you started watching, I feel like this is the only thing getting people through a lot of the isolation. So friendships, there's going to be some spoilers, but um, motherfucking Tiger King on Netflix. It is so good and I can't stop telling people to watch it now. It's not like... I don't even know how to, it's like a clusterfuck for a show. It literally takes so many plot twists. By episode three, just when you think you know who's who, and they just throw this plot twist in at the very end of the episode, and you're like, excuse me? Friendships, I just want to say, you have the ability to catch up with me right now and get on episode three today, because they're only like an hour long. It's so interesting, you'll breeze through them. I don't want to spoil anything for me, but it is a fucked up show. It's so, and, and I can't stop watching. Like I was watching, I was watching it while I was in the bath yesterday. Shocker! And then after I got out of the bath, I was watching it in bed, and it started giving me a fast heartbeat vibe because you know how I am. Because it kind of, I don't know, I don't want to spoil too much, but it it kind of turns into a murder mystery at one point, and it goes through everything. There's just so many twists and turns in like every single episode. Like I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. Just watch the trailer. Like, the trailer is just as uh, crazy. But it's wild to think that this actually happens in the States. And right. Just, like, these people. But it's this... Me and Jordan were talking about it. It's this whole different culture. It's, like, a different form of society. Yeah. That, that Where is it? It's in Florida, right? It's in the South? Florida, or? Oklahoma. Which is the South. Yeah, it's like the Midwest or like the Mid South. Florida is yeah, South, obviously, but um, yeah, they're just uh, I, it's wild. Just watch it. You literally have to pay attention to every episode though, because there's so much that goes on, and you'll just like you won't believe what you're seeing, and it takes a minute to process. Like, there's one guy who is a gay polygamist. And they all, like, have big cats, like, tigers and lions and stuff. And then, yeah, like Jackie said, it turns into a murder mystery. And then by the end of it, there's just, like, uh, it's wild. Okay, so there's, yeah, we didn't even tell them what it's about. So it's about these these different organizations slash zoos slash um, sanctuaries in the States and they all have the craziest beef that you have ever encountered ever with each other. Yeah. And there's like drugs involved. There's like, um, just like they're swingers, they're polygamists. They're like put hits out on each other. They like, there's, um, theories that some of them like kill their own cats like it's yeah it's and wild. it's just everyone has such different personalities and I'm I bet you right now we're really not selling it but I promise you if you guys go watch the first episode you'll be hooked just like us because Bailey was telling me about it two nights ago and I had finished love is blind so I was kind of like lost and looking for something to latch on to and I started it and me and Jordan's eyes were just glued to the tv the entire time it's yeah like you think th- tiger king you just be like okay like i don't want to watch a documentary about people raising tigers but it's so so good it's number one on netflix right now and there's a reason everyone's talking about it so we're 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 jumping on the bandwagon you guys I finished it last night it was so good it's there's like seven episodes so it's really not that much of a commitment friendships you can do it seven hours out of your quarantine life you could do that in a day if you're committed <laughs> yeah, um, when. what I was going to say something, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got my shower thought. Oh, it's the thoughts. It's the thoughts. It's the thoughts you have in the shower. Why are you mouthing it? Shower thoughts. I don't know what happened. You were just mouthing it. It's the thoughts we have in the shower. Shower thoughts. thoughts. Wow. All right. We're still figuring this um, Zoom thing out, guys. So someone actually sent me this one. Shout out, Laura. She said, each time you light your lighter, your lighter gets lighter until your lighter gets so light it won't light. What? (laughs) I don't even understand it. Each time you light your lighter. Yes, I know what a lighter is. Okay, well, oh, sorry. I fucked it up. (laughs) No, wait. It was, no, no. You're still going to probably be confused. Each time you light your lighter, your lighter gets lighter until your lighter gets so light it won't light. Okay, I get it. 
how many like like how would you learn the english language if you had to decipher all the different meanings of light lighter and like all that stuff within that sentence yeah, we have a really messed up language to learn we but do. also this is another tangent but like we don't have female and male pronouns in speaking so i think that makes it hard to learn yeah. other languages but everyone's yeah you're right like why why is why uh, the word need to be male or female why, why does a pen i don't even know if this is right but i'm pretty sure a pen is masculine in french why i know like i don't understand why can't things just be gender neutral right yeah like so, good but yeah our language isn't any easier but we have that going for us but you know what? we're so lucky that we speak english because it's one of the it's one of the languages that you can travel all over the world and still see it on signs. When I was watching um, Pandemic and in India, in this small little town, they still have English all over the hospitals and all their doctors speak English. Yeah, we are pretty lucky that way. Um, all right. Who is our guest this week? It's Mads. Mads Page. Which I feel um, like is the perfect little boost of light and energy right now that you guys probably need, that we all need during this time. She is. She's one of our friends. She's a photographer. She's local um, to us out here in on the West Coast. But Madison is so, like, her energy is just contagious. She's such a ray of light. That's, like, the only way that I can really think to describe her. And we brought her on just because we wanted to talk to her about her story and, like, how she stays so positive. And we did this before social distancing. So, yeah, like Jackie said, it is definitely something that could be really needed right now and just how she focuses on staying so positive because she has a crazy story. Like, she got married really, really young and then divorced pretty quickly after. Um, she shared a business with her ex-husband and took over that. So, like, she's definitely had hardships and she still just has this – optimistic outlook on life she also you guys has the coolest little airstream that she lives in that she has renovated it is to die for and she lives in that out here where we live around us and it's just like you should really check it out she's actually looking to i think start airbnb in it so if you go to her page which will link everything for you friendships of course as always you'll be able to find it because you might be able to stay in it one day if you can't come out here yeah if we can leave our houses ever again all right, that's negative. We need some positivity, please. <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, this, I feel like we should just do a reminder of friendships. You should be staying inside, doing your social distancing, doing your diligence. Obviously, if you have work and that hasn't been canceled yet, we're not. that's not your responsibility. That's not your problem. You still have to go to work, but everything else in your life you can control. So just do your part for everybody, for Bailey's grandma, for my grandparents, for all the other grandparents of our friendships just it's such a small thing i saw an instagram story the other day that said our grandparents went to war and someone said we can sit on our fucking couch and it's so true it's so true we don't need to yeah like i still see people going out and saying that they need to go out and honestly this is one that i see a lot of is like influencers going to shoot looks i'm like just shoot in your house like shout out to tessa who's just killing it by shooting in her house and being responsible but like you don't don't go out unless you have to unless you have to get groceries go to the hospital go to work like just the necessities just do your part it's so much bigger than us as individuals and we just need to do our part mm -hmm. definitely all right friends um well here is the episode with mads and we hope you enjoy it we have one more episode in the bank that will be coming out next week and then you're going to be stuck with us for a little bit hope you're happy <laughs> all right we will um, be back next week enjoy the episode Friends, we have our friend here. She's an insanely talented photographer, um, but she's super funny and has like. Why are you about to like burst out laughing? I just already hit my head. I have mic. Right. I need to pull it together. Sorry, guys. Sorry, just sorry, sorry. I'm gonna. If on. you do it one more time, I'm gonna make you wear your hat backwards. I've, we've podcasted a bunch today. I've hit my hat brim on the mic about ten times, yeah, and I just literally. did it again. Um, but we have our friend here, Mads Page, Madison, but we're call her Mads. I love it. 
And you're going to actually change your name. You're just telling us. So I want you to share because it's a badass name. Right. Um, so I was thinking Avenue, Madison Avenue. But we also just came up with... But <laughs> Jackie had <laughs> a good point. She's well, like, I thought that Madison yeah. Avenue was a famous avenue. So I was like, oh, like that's super cool. But you just think it sounds cool. I think it sounds cool. And then we decided... And then, and then I was remembering you just went to um, New York. I did. So and we're gonna have to change your middle and your last name. Right. So You're square gonna, would be middle my middle name, <laughs> and garden will be your last. So you could be Madison Garden or Madison Square Garden. Right. MSG. I love it. I love, I love it. MSG. <laughs> <laughs> it's Salt. the name that keeps on giving. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Um, okay, but we have so much to talk to you about. Mm. I just honestly, ever since I've met you, I've loved your energy. You're just such a like you walk into a room and you light it up. Like I truly have met very few people who do that. And I can very well say like you do that when you walk into a room. Like you just make me happier. Aww, come on. It's not even because you're <laughs> wearing you yellow right no, now. Literally. Okay. <laughs> also, I just would like to say that Mads comes over and She's like, I'm so grateful that um, I get to be a guest. Brings us four bottles of wine. Four. Four. Not two one. And two really not two, not nice three. <laughs> bottles that yeah. we, I was like, well, are we going to drink one of them right now? And they were like, no, like, or we'll just open one of the bad. Well, not bad. They're not <laughs> bad. <but laughs> this is coming out all wrong. <laughs> but it, basically, we're drinking the really nice wine and it's really good. It's a really, really good. Like can you pronounce style. it for us? What's that? Can you pronounce the wine for us? Viagna. It's a vignette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> we'll take, take a picture of it. which one it is, though, because it's really, really it is good. so good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, no yeah, problem. Thank you. Oh my gosh. But okay. Please. So for our friendships who don't know you, introduce yourself. Kind of like let us know where you grew up, what you do, all the good stuff. Yeah. So um, my name is Mads, Maddie, Madison, whatever you want to call me. Um, I am a wedding photographer locally, um, and I've been doing that for seven years, and I but love it. But you also it. have shot State of Grace, like right. public brands. You're not just like limited to weddings, right? Bailey. Yeah, you got it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm kind of in a transition now. I love weddings. I'm still doing weddings, um, but I. I'm doing a lot more content creation, well, not creation, but content shoots because I am a photographer. Um, And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. It's a whole different avenue of um, like just creating crisp, fun. You definitely have a lot more opportunity to set it up and it's not so much, um, you know, just deal with whatever lighting you have because this is the wedding. Um, So yeah, that's, and I do newborns. I've done births. Oh my gosh. Um, I literally, I'm just such a yes person through and through i say yes to anything so um yeah and then okay a little bit about yourself introduce yourself did you already ask that question yeah that's okay, what she yeah, was just okay, doing I, oh. welcome to the podcast jackie hello by the way do i like look at you guys when i'm talking or <laughs> whatever you can look best. at the dogs you can look at your right. wine you, you can, can look, look at down us. yeah like okay. whatever okay i'm gonna look at you um <laughs> Okay, well then I'm just gonna re- retract that. <laughs> Love question. it. What was it? We're, we're, not, <laughs> we're not normally this dysfunctional. We've done a few podcasts. It- <clears throat> but that's what I love about you guys because it's uh, you like really in life like you can't be perfect all the time no, no you can't. so we've always just we wanted try. to shoot the shit and like it's a happy hour conversation yeah i love it so continue on and introduce yourself <laughs> yeah I'm so sorry yeah so um i'm a crazy cat lady i would love to have a dog i live in a tiny trailer so i'm not sure my cat would love that but one day when she's nine so one day when she passes that's like my next thing um yeah, I live in a trailer. I, l- I love it's an airstream, right? Yeah, I love your. It's so beautiful. And also, yeah. I've been inside of it, and I think we should post on our story some photos because when you got it, it was a shell, right? Yeah, it was and even worse in, than that. It's like it had what you've done to it. Yeah, it had like everything from the seventies in it, rat infestation. So just like taking everything out and having that shell was oh my gosh, so daunting, but so exciting because we could do whatever we wanted. So, um, yeah, so it's tiny. I have a big thrifting addiction. I might need to like build a pullout on it or something <laughs> eventually. I love but it. It's so cute yeah. and homey inside. It really, really is. Yeah, it's fun. Um, okay, so what does a day in the life look like for you? Um, well, I wake up to my cat kind of like... Okay, remember you guys, you guys were trying to do like the dog sounds? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to try this Please out right do. now. Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but literally my cat, I think she's like a different breed because <laughs> she kind of sounds like a bird. 
um so she's like at the end of my bed wanting food so I get up give her food and first thing on my mind is like coffee so I go to make coffee and she's at my feet already <laughs> like she wants to play so um anyways I just like yell at her like mom hasn't had her coffee yet and like you guys probably talk to your dogs like this yeah. <laughs> also if you're One Tree Hill fans her cat's named after Peyton right yeah is right. it named Peyton Peyton Aww, yeah but I then when I like if I'm talking to guys and I say Peyton oh they think Peyton they'll Manning. go Peyton Manning and I'm like yeah no. oh, oh I just yeah. say go like, with it why not they're not gonna know. know what One Tree Hill is <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so coffee and then I, I'll go back in bed and I have this like podcast that I listen to. It's just a daily devotional. Um, so it just kind of sets me up for the day, some positive words. Um, and then see I'll every single go. guest has a morning. I know. Ritual. Yeah. It's very interesting, interesting yeah. actually. Yeah. If I don't do it, like sometimes I'll, when I stay at friend's house or if I have like a night out and then you wake up and you're not at home to do that, it just, I can tell my whole day is thrown off. Um, for sure. but Wait, like, what is the podcast? Um, gosh, we'll link it. We'll get yeah, it. Yeah, We'll link it. We'll get it. Like I just started this one recently. I used to have this audio book that I just kind of listened to in the morning, but that was kind of hard because it wasn't, um, it was just, I'd read a little bit or listen to a little bit and then not really know when to stop. So yeah. And then I'll go sit on the computer and do my emails. So it's super important that I get, I'm super productive from 10 to two. So I try not to make any plans early in the day like that. So I'll do my emails and then um and like I always like have a huge to-do list because I'm like just an such like an overachiever and I always have like at the back of my mind okay if I get all these things done I can go thrifting I love it that's your motivation I love and I it. almost go every day do you yeah it's kind of embarrassing it? no, do you, not, like Valley great. Village your favorite or do you um, have other shops I just go wh- whatever area I'm in okay. so like right now I live in Port Cal's or, or Fort Langley so I'll like go down to Port Cal's and there's one there because there's new things every day mm-hmm. like everyone's dropping something off and so true and like I hear all the time what thrift shop do you go to it's like you can't you just can't be sure what's gonna show up like Kim no. Kardashian could come and like drop off a bag <laughs> at this one thrift in shop Kells. in Fort Kells <laughs> and uh yeah you just never know what's gonna be there so I just like to test my luck I'll even just pop in for 15 minutes and Where's, where do you beeline to when you walk in a thrift store um jeans Okay, yeah. Yeah, Usually because the too. the worst thing is if you're in the shirt aisle and there's a girl in the jean section yeah. and she's oh, pulling yeah, up yeah. a nice pair of Levi's and you're like that could have been And you yeah. follow her to the you follow her to the change room cuz you're like I hope these don't fit her. I hope these don't yeah. fit her. <laughs> oh you're just like God. waiting out there like I've been there. Yeah, 100%. I love that. I didn't know you thrift. I love oh, we thrift. love it. Oh, yeah. gosh. Like, we need to honestly I think we should do an IGTV video together. Yeah. This, next hundred percent it's so it's the best thing that like we'll get our to friendships me. to submit questions mm-hmm. and then we can kind of go through and like show how we each build an outfit mm-hmm. i'm down for that I am deal so down the only thing is i i hardly ever say yes to thrifting with people because i'm so focused so do i so we, we are split. honestly right. we're the same we go okay i love you guys like, see you in an hour I but love we'll, you guys. we'll just make this like an actual um business yeah a business, a business and then situation just, i love it let's do it Yeah, so that's kind of my day. And then the rest is just, um, well, I mean, like, just trying to fill it with friends and family. And some nights I I think I have usually have like one night a week that I try to spend on my own, which is really hard because you're an I can just tell you're an extrovert. But Mm -hmm. um, do you still need that me time to recharge a bit? I do. A hundred percent. I never thought I did. And I think that in my early 20s, I just like I just wasn't cluing into that. And so then I kind of go crazy or I'd like mistreat people or mistreat myself and then just be exhausted. And I actually like developed anxiety because of it. So yeah. It's hard when you're constantly giving yourself to other people. Mm -hmm. And I am such an introvert. So I can only imagine how that feels for somebody who's extroverted. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. What is something that you do that you would kind of guess a lot of people don't do? <laughs> oh my god this is gonna be good i, I can't was just wait. thinking about this um <laughs> i don't know if any of you do this but i am super unprepared in my car and i never have whenever i do my lipstick i never have napkins or anything so i blot my lipstick on my receipt oh 100 percent, i do this okay oh. and then i go to and i accidentally i'm like shit i gotta give this to my account oh uh. 
<laughs> I'm like, there's red lipstick on there. <laughs> I don't do that. Oh, I, I do. You probably have something. Specifically you gas receipts because they're always What do you need to blot in. for? What are you oh. using? Oh, do you don't blot your lipstick? No. It helps it from looking too... Cakey. Yeah. Especially if you're wearing a really bright, like, mm-hmm. red. Yeah. Then you don't want that... You can get, like, a line. Yeah. So you don't want that. So you want to... It just makes it... Like, it doesn't... You can use your, that. Fin- you can use your finger, that, too. And then it just mm. rub out You would do that. Out. You rub <laughs> it out? <laughs> she sticks her finger in her mouth. And then she rubs one out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the wine is in full effect. <laughs> you said it. Um, okay. Aside from the receipt blotting Mm. (laughs) do you have a daily ritual or something that like no matter where you are no matter how busy if you're traveling it's like one thing you will never give up that you do (laughs) oh my gosh tmi oh i love it okay what (laughs) yes i'm so interested i'm so i I love when our guests go there like i just love it okay um well let's just say i've been on amazon ordering a lot of different devices we need to link it is it satisfier pro um no it's just like i don't even okay one thing about you you should know is i'm very ignorant i don't remember (laughs) names very well i don't like is it like a suction cup or is it like yeah it's a suction okay that's satisfier pro yeah Yeah. it's the best one ever but like i have like i have a lot of them (laughs) Not not all suction cup ones. I love it. But that is something that hey, it's part of wellness. I'm very like whoa, I think I got a little too close, but I'm <laughs> get really excited about this. <laughs> no, but I'm very <laughs> wired that way and it's like just kind of always been been a thing. So I would say yeah. Like I love okay, it. Okay, maybe like I wanna say maybe six times a week. Okay. Good for you. Respect. Uh, but it does, it de stresses you. Yeah. I yeah. understand. Um, well, you'll have to share them so I can share them with the friends. I will. Because like this, is a, this is a little I bit of an ongoing thing. I should have brought them because I have no idea what they're called. And I have so many from like she all the years. Brings so like a bag. <laughs> She's like, hold on. Let me check. <laughs> I will Amazon, love that. Amazon, no friendships. It's been linked in the Facebook group and I will link these Sarah's again. a big advocate for the Satisfy Pro. Pro. I am on the train. Caitlin, we got her on the train. So. Yeah. It's a good one. Um. All right, so I want to talk about your story because I feel like I've only recently, and I don't know it fully because I really did want to just dive into it on the podcast, but you have come, you got married quite young and then you've gone through divorce and you just have, like I said, this light about you and this energy that I love. So can you kind of tell us your story and just like where all of this comes from? Yeah, totally. Um, Yeah, it's... Wow. Like just even today I was kind of thinking about it all. Like, um, so I met my husband when I was just 18 and I met him on Skype. I love this. Honestly, oh, yeah, so I much. Forgot about this. I know. I didn't even realize when I, before I asked you to come on the podcast, I didn't realize you met him on Skype because he's so, Australian. I was like, what yeah. the hell? Yeah. So I accidentally added the wrong Dave. I mean, there's lots of Daves in this world. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I believe you. I'm so, I'm so gullible. I'm just like, oh my God, what a what story. A cool story. <laughs> no, we it's had, still a good story. <laughs> we did, we had a mutual friend. Um, actually she was my best friend. So she met him and she came home and she said, this guy, like, he's so cute. I think you guys would be really great together. So we met on Skype. We talked for about six months. Wait. Didn't she want to let right. him down? Okay. Okay. So Wait, actually, what? real story. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they would. They would, neither of them would care. Actually, I texted him today. I was like, just so you know, I'm on a podcast today. I can also, and, if we need, I can edit it. Out. And um, I said, just so you know, I'm on a podcast today. What day is it? And he replied back, and he was like, Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. So Good. he'll never be able to find it then. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right. <laughs> So no, he was totally cool. He because he also has a podcast with his friends. Oh, so cool. I've like he he's talked about me on there or whatever. But yeah, we're we're totally like super hot. We're friends. We're super happy for each other. But anyway, so um, we met and we we're talking on Skype. And then like after about six months, he started calling me like sweetie and baby. And I'm like, whoa, hold <laughs> up. At this point, you'd never physically met no. because he's in Australia. No. And I kept asking my friend like he's tall right like he <laughs> like he's got like shoulders and like all his legs and everything <laughs> what, what are you seeing in skype just his head <laughs> 
Yeah. Like what, he's just sitting down. I'm so curious. What year is this? 2010. So was Instagram really not a thing, right? So you probably no. really had no idea what he actually looked like. Not at all. It was around like just starting. But it, was, it wouldn't have been now, a, it where you been a really thing. No, build not your, at all. Yourself or you and, can like, go and like have a you. secret account and creep them and like. Yeah. yeah. And like there was Facebook. Yeah. But it's not the same. I don't think. Yeah. So no. you really had no idea what he looked like. Wow. I know. Well, you did, but like didn't really. It's almost like that, you know, that new show. Um, Love is Blind. Love, Love is, is Blind. Blind. Yeah. I mean, it was, I could kind of see a little bit, but. You like imagine <laughs> what he smelled like and felt right. like. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. And then he started calling me like sweetheart and baby. And I was like, hold up, like come and visit me. I need to like meet you in person before we start talking like this. Um, A little bit background on me is I was like I had one boyfriend I waited till I was 16 to date him because my mom said so he was my first kiss and then yeah it was pretty much six months later that I met Dave um so he came and we hit it off and after two weeks I just kind of had this feeling like fall in my heart I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to Australia with him and I was at the time enrolled for nursing school and like just because you know that was the thing to go there and so then I went to Australia and after you get one year working visa and then after the year you either have to do rural work which is like go and work on farm work yeah I've had friends who've done it it's just horrible so and he wouldn't let me do that um and we both uh one thing i forgot to mention we both came from very christian homes so getting married was kind of just like a no-brainer and uh we needed to get the visa for me to stay we're like okay let's do it so we got married pretty quick there and then um, so how old are you when you got married 20 okay so you'd known each yeah. other for two years yeah okay so like date known like dated engaged and two Norm- years yeah. normal yeah 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 it felt quick but i guess I think it was because six of those months were distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, distance. And I was kind of too young to be like seeing people or whatever. I mean, dating roles have changed completely since mm-hmm. then. But mm-hmm. yeah. And so then, yeah, we got married. And um, so then were you living in Australia or did he come back here? So we we were always together. We always kind of stayed together. So we came back here, got married, then went back, got my permanent residency. And um and then, yeah, a couple, like, oh, yeah, so a couple years later, got into photography. Um, and then a friend over here asked me to shoot her wedding. So I was like, yeah, okay. So we came back. And he, and one thing I forgot to mention is Dave is a musician. So he was like, yeah, that's perfect. North America is, like, the place to be. Like, I mean, you can make great music from Australia, but just for touring mm-hmm. and for connections and networking. So we stayed here. And just kind of like ditched Australia. It was always kind of in the back of our mind. Like we're very open of where we're going to go. But we just felt like, yeah, here was where we're supposed to be. So then we started a business. What was that business? Yeah. Right. So we, my first wedding, I was like, so are you going to be my second shooter or what? It was his camera. He did a graphic design uh, degree. And so he showed me how to use it. And um, yeah, we booked that one wedding. And then from there, just word of mouth spread that first year, we got booked up 35 weddings as a hobby. And so cool. Um, I was working at Cactus Club at the time. I told the manager, look, I have to quit. I'm just getting too busy with these weddings. And he's like, are you sure you don't want to just like stay on like part time? And I'm like, <laughs> nope, I'm going all in. Escape. So then, uh, yeah, we just, I think I like, I owe it all to my McDonald's training background. I swear. I, I learned. I love that. <gasps> yeah. Why? Why do you credit McDonald's? I learned how to give the customer the pickle. <laughs> Sure, you learned how to give a couple other people. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, no, totally. It's uh, definitely, um, yeah, it was a huge. I be- like did climb the Mick ladder. Did you guys work at McDonald's? No, no. Okay. I've heard amazing but I, things. I, I, yeah, I think yeah. it's such a great place to start. Yeah. So, and then my dad, he's been in Amway. I don't know if you've heard of Amway. It's like the first MLM ever. Like they sold soap. I have heard of it. Yeah. So I don't know much about it, but I've definitely heard of it. He always took me to like, sorry, I'm going a little off track, but he took me to the conferences. It's like, um, since I was 16, you can be in business for yourself and you can sell. I love that though. Like from such a young age, kind of instilling kids with adult conversation and like entrepreneurialism. I think it's so powerful. Yeah. That's why I think working moms who like dive right back into it with their kids. I think that kid is just getting the best kind of education. Yeah. Yeah. 
so like it, yeah anyways I think I was just really ignorant too I didn't know what it took to run a business but we got to the point where Dave could quit his job so he was coming on full time and then video came into effect so he started doing video and then um yeah so we did like we've done like 300 weddings I wow. think huh. yeah so how long were you guys together and then what kind of um, ended up being what led to divorce, if you don't mind us asking? Right. No, of course. I'm totally an open book. Um, so we were together for since 2010 to last. So it's been just over a year that we've been split. And um, yeah, yeah. So, oh my gosh, the years have been amazing. We've traveled. We have just like li been living our best life. All our friends have been having the babies and that's great. Like that was their thing. Get their townhouse and settle down. And we just never, we're pretty much nomads for a long time. Um, and then we restored the Airstream together uh, a couple years ago. And that was almost like our redemption financially we spend a lot of money on travel and his his music so we're like let's just work our butts off this year restore this airstream we'll come out with a tiny home where we're only paying like 500 dollars rent here and then at the end we'll sell it and we can like get a place um and that year was huge we were still shooting weddings and trying to finish this thing off we like had a plan to move into it in the fall and um a lot of things rose up in that time on specifically like teamwork and what it looked like to be a team and the way that right from the start we both knew we're completely off opposite people and you're always kind of thinking like oh well opposites attract and like sometimes it works right yeah. and like you can complement each mm -hmm. other and definitely we learned like something from each other I'm very go 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 and he's very chill and um so I've learned a lot of how to rest and he's learned a lot of how to hustle and so there has been learning but it got to a point where our personalities like deep down inside we were both compromising so much it was almost like that huge extreme and there's something to say about compatibility when you're looking for some for that like in a part partner and I mean we were so young we were mm -hmm. so young and they say that you know it wasn't until about 25 that I I really felt like I had grown into like who I was as a woman and what I wanted and how I wanted to live. And, and then I, I feel like for guys it's, and I don't want to be stereotypical at all, it's but later for sure. I think it is around your thirties and it did kind of make sense. Like Dave's 33 this year and, and who he's become is beautiful and I respect every bit of it. But I think that at the end of the day, we both could find somebody that like loves us. Um, better of course because there's a difference bet between compromise and change yeah like you guys can compromise but you don't ever want to change each other right yeah um thank you for sharing that by the yeah, way i really no, appreciate it what was i'm just so curious like what was your mental process like through all the ups and downs because obviously like you just summed it up so beautifully but it, time is so different and when you're in it 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 can feel very different than when you're outside of it so i'm just curious how it felt going through it versus being where you are now yeah, it's it was hard to not um, be overwhelmed by like especially where where I was at and how all of a sudden all our plans for, you know, having a family or what we work for kind of fell through. So um, someone said to me, Mads, this feeling what you're feeling right now is just for now. It's not forever. So I had to keep like lifting my head, keeping my chin up and looking back at how, like I said, like we grew up in Christian family and um, it d definitely my faith looks a lot different now, but I do believe that there's a God looking out for me and he just like really spoke to me and said, I have like really big plans for you and you don't have to worry about it. Like just keep walking every 24 hours in love, in grace and being faithful to like what you hear me calling you to do and so that's that's kind of just like the crazy piece that I I kept feeling every day and just try not to look too far ahead and overwhelm myself of of oh no like immediately I thought oh all the good guys are gonna be snatched up <laughs> like uh, like shoot and and that's so stupid it's like um you don't know you don't need a guy so right there mm -hmm. was my first my first like turning my my thinking around and being like I don't need anyone to complete me like I could be a happy crazy cat lady on the beach you know and um like that'll be great if that comes in but 
um, yeah, I don't need anyone to complete me. And that was my biggest thing. And then the business, it was kind of hard thinking about, oh no, like people hired us because we were a husband and wife. Like that's so fun. And, um, and yeah, I think as I just started to let go and, um, like not be in control and micromanage things and just, like I said, be honest and walk every day out 110%. That's where I just like found a crazy piece. And yeah, I find you so inspiring with your mm-hmm. mindset. Like you're so positive and it's so hard to go through shit and like life can really suck sometimes everybody goes through different stuff but at the end of the day we all have the same base emotions and I just like I honestly I just love your energy and like I really really am so inspired by you you honestly you you do have such a positive and infectious energy and I'm sure our friendships can hear that just through this microphone which is crazy you make me feel real real hot (laughs) how are you how do you maintain your positivity like how did you not lose that through going through such a hard time in your life right right and like I definitely was not perfect I had nights where I was just there crying calling up my sister let's go out and drink just trying to escape things Mm -hmm. and and I did quite a few times and then you know you get that gut feeling where you're thinking this isn't making me feel any better and so when you refocus that energy into hey I'm gonna like eat healthy I'm gonna work out I'm gonna um I think I really do think that your physical being and your health affects your mental health and yeah and so I I was I've been doing intermittent fasting for like two years and I had like stopped doing that altogether because my emotional state wasn't there and then as soon as I got myself back on the train of keeping myself like just in line and that positive energy started coming back and it's all kind of tied together we talk about that all the time yeah 100 percent. what do you do when you're having like a really bad day or just having like a day where you need to maybe just cut yourself some slack work-wise or just mentally like you're just not feeling as positive right i just run outside naked and yell at all the neighbors (laughs) f you i love (laughs) <laughs> Could you imagine? All my trailer park neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Do you, have, do you have some interesting neighbors? Um, you know what? Actually, I've got a really nice guy beside me, Rick. He is out there smoking all the time. So if I ever need a chat, he's just <laughs> out there having a smoke. Why does Rick sound like a trailer park it really does. guy name? Because I think actually Ricky is he on trailer park guys? There's is bubbles. He? There's oh gosh I should know this I don't know either I don't know. so you All can our, fool me if any you want. male listeners are gonna be like oh gosh <laughs> we don't have male listeners. so <laughs> basic <laughs> okay um yeah and then on the other side there's just like a really nice couple they have a golf course and Aww. yeah there's like tons of dogs most people are over sixty it's, it's probably such a cute little community in there it is but at the same time we're such cold climate people especially mm-hmm. in the winter that nobody really okay, sorry we're going off on a tangent but your pipes yeah. freeze and you can't use your water in the winter right yeah okay so that was my fault because <laughs> i actually have a heated hose okay. and it wasn't plugged in stop <laughs> yeah so i've learned my lesson hopefully <laughs> um what would kind of your advice be to someone who's maybe going through a tough time or going through a divorce right now right um <sighs> gosh it's so different for everybody everybody's situation is so unique and um when it comes to divorce I think that um you know I I was pretty lucky to both of us had this mutual understanding of what love looked like and so both of us agreed that even though you know you can play the blame game and like I yeah I would never like want to play the blame game on here but at the end of the day we did really love each other and to be able to look aside the things that were done and the hurt that was that happened or whatever um yeah I think that I don't know it's so hard to say because everyone's situation is so different but for when I was when I felt the hurt like we did go through counseling and things came up and and so same on his side too I think just looking at yourself and seeing that you're not perfect gives you enough um like courage to forgive other people I think that was the first step is look at yourself and um and if things have been done to you and you don't deserve it, even then, like you can find beauty in the broken and whatever has happened, like is just bringing you to the next place that you're meant to go in life. 
And um, yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. Brokenness I is, I read this one book and there she was saying that a seed for a plant to grow has to go way far down into dirt in the pitch dark. It's uncomfortable and then it's broken. The seed breaks and then a beautiful like plant spreads out of there. So sometimes going like life is good and bad. And sometimes I tell my friends, it's just a pile of shit with flowers growing out of it. And 100%. you just try and like smell the flowers and not the shit. <laughs> Sarah said it in her speech over the weekend at um, a conference, but she was like, you can't appreciate the good without experiencing the bad. And That's it's it. so true. Mm-hmm. Like you have to go through the shit or you're not going to be grateful. You won't even know what good is. Mm-hmm. So it's like weird. You have to kind of appreciate the bad at the same time. Yeah. Um, okay. So how has life changed since being divorced? Like what's that transition been for you? Like how's your perspective now, your confidence now, like what's been the biggest kind of takeaway? Uh, lonely. Aww. <laughs> like, I mean, you go We're here for I, you. Oh, you guys are amazing. Yeah. I like really appreciate my friends and family. That's one thing that with what's happened, I didn't realize how much I needed them. I needed that community. And it's so easy to get in a relationship and make that person your everything. And, and, um, it's just really unhealthy. And so, and so, um, yeah, I think the loneliness that's been a huge transition, but it's also really made me sit and think like sit and love myself and, and talk to myself. I don't know. That's like, sometimes I'll just lay there and just write and journal and listen to Dermot Kennedy (laughs) (laughs) outnumber that's like Uh my go-to I just feel like yeah whoever's out there is just speaking to me um but the transition has been fairly good just because I have been doing laying some groundwork and I could I could easily find myself just trying to like muffle the noise of like being lonely and you know hit up the bar and hit play pool before I go home but like making that hard decision of saying look I'm just gonna go home tonight and that's gonna be okay and you're gonna you're gonna love it actually your bed's so comfy your cat's waiting for you so um yeah the transition's been very smooth just because I have been doing the groundwork so I haven't been perfect but also no friendships perfect. if you have any hot brothers I mean <laughs> also me but like Mads is such a cutie best energy oh hit us up we'll oh set gosh. it up. I would love to connect it has someone. to be over six feet okay, okay. has to be over six feet six no okay five, give, us, give us your like three non-negotiables oh gosh um big understands. shoulders <laughs> okay well like n- oh 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 no Shoot, over six no. feet oh okay like number one is half t- doesn't have to like like know god or love god but like no respect it like really understand what love is mm-hmm. and okay. like so that and then um yeah over six feet um for many different reasons <laughs> <laughs> i love you like getting the glass out of the cupboard because okay. i'm like yeah in the small five stream three. Okay. yeah okay <laughs> um, <laughs> um and maybe i don't know i'm not really pick- i kind of fall in love with anybody like you, do you just- like funny guys do you like really intellectual right. guys like deep, yeah deep whoa people. whoa um i like hardworking guys okay so ambitious right over six foot has like a deep appreciation of love and faith mm-hmm. yeah okay friends it's, we're putting Mission it out there is on, love that. On. <laughs> um speaking of guys though are you dating now like what tell us about wow. your love life oh wow i think i've bought more vibrators than <laughs> dates i've been on <laughs> you and me both <laughs> but that's good because um like after you spend nine years with someone you really know what you're looking for and um especially like when it comes to looks I mean you have to look at them for the rest Mm -hmm. of your life so even if it's like on Instagram and someone's like hey do you want to go for a beer or whatever look at their profile oh I'm so busy right now I'm so sorry about that (laughs) like clip my toenails actually I'm still technically married yeah I don't know about that (laughs) my sister's fish died (laughs) yeah literally um but yeah I was seeing a guy for a little bit and it fell apart in front of my face and um 
that really made me realize that I, I had some growing to do and like I'm actually really thankful for that situation because like he he made some new standards for what I want and um yeah like I, I really truly believe everything that happens to you leads you to exactly where you are completely agree like I'm in this room because of everything with you guys you amazing ladies mm. drinking this amazing wine mm. one sec <laughs> <laughs> priorities I love it mm. no I totally agree and i I'm such a firm believer like I would rather be alone forever than settle right. just to have something like I've that's I've I being independent like that's definitely my weakness yeah because it holds me back but like I just also will never kind of s- settle in my morals and like my that's values amazing. of a relationship that's amazing and you shouldn't you, both of you no you I never not. no one no one should yeah. but I just feel like sometimes we do end up feeling lonely or like we're craving something and or we t- get our clocks ticking 100 percent, and we kind of give into that whereas like I just uh, that this is my path and I just know that I will never settle I love that that's actually one you coming into my life when you did with the shoots and stuff um when I found when I came to your house and you're like I, I realized you just live here with your dog I was thinking huh she's just she's just like boss lady just (laughs) just taking life as it is and she seems so happy and she's um, one thing my dad did say to me Matt's just marry your work marry your work for now and then when if the timing's right if the right guys out there they'll come along but um I really think that you do that and you have a really healthy balance with your drinking wine and and hanging out with Jackie and your friends and you travel a lot yeah but yeah I was really I've been really encouraged by you sometimes when I am in a down spot or I feel kind of like over overcome i i think about you Aww. well what would bailey do <laughs> she's been would, doing it for a while what would, would be <laughs> wwbd i mean i definitely like i think there's a balance like don't marry your work but also like invest in yourself yeah. i think that investing in yourself is the best thing you can do because whether it's your health your self-talk your business like you always have yourself at the end of the day but yeah. i i like I don't have a significant other in my life, but I have so much love for my friends and my family. And like, that's mm-hmm. what fuels me at the end of the day too. So mm-hmm. I think that, yeah. I think you need to find someone like that. Well, Dermot, <laughs> if you're out there. <laughs> I think if the right guy comes along, cause you're very content that it'll be just like the yeah. perfect guy who just fits right into your life. And yeah. you know what? I've seen over 300 weddings and I've seen so many different love stories um i personally haven't been on any dating apps but i've shot five tinder weddings and they are it. just madly in love I, like anything i mean that i'm happened. not on tinder i've gotten the weirdest messages when i did try it oh so. yeah we're just did you find us a that. double dating app we should tinder? go on a, you should find a double dating oh, app and we could guys, go on a double tinder date have group chats where you can like tag team that sounds really bad <laughs> <laughs> mads was bring her bag of vibrator <laughs> but <laughs> You can group <laughs> message. So like, yes, you could do double dating. You guys would be killer at that. I feel like you should go on The Bachelor. I feel like you'd be oh so gosh. fucking good at it. You would. What the oh. heck? I'm going to nominate you. Really? Yeah, I think you, you would be really so much. good. You would. Oh, I, I I think I would be strong enough to come out on the other end. But I, no, I literally think you have thick yeah. skin. Like I would not tell a lot of people to ever do that, knowing what I know about the show. But I think really? you would do really well. I think it's because you know yourself so yeah. much. Oh. And you've had life experience. <laughs> you look so scared. Do you think they would let me bring like my thrifted clothes and wear those? Because yeah. that's 100%. the only thing. I'm not bougie at all. I'm no, but that's, to be. that's what people will love about you. <laughs> people see the same shit on there all the time. Right. And like, people want different. That's why there's a 38 year old bat bachelorette right like so people are that. over the same shit Sweet. um okay new mission <laughs> if our friendships fail we now have the bachelor <laughs> <laughs> um okay, do you have any tips for getting back into the dating game though for post-divorce or maybe just someone who's coming out of a really serious relationship right um well don't rush it and I think my mentality right away um, with the, like I said, there was a guy I was seeing. Um, I just, I got this like feeling like, oh no, I'm not going to find anyone. And like my ex is going to find someone before me. And then I'm going to be super lonely and feel really bad. And um, and also too, like this guy was just like seemed perfect. And, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity. That didn't even matter because I wasn't ready. And so if you, yeah, if you're coming out of a relationship, like take that time for yourself and become a Bailey and just like be (laughs) so confident with where you're at, with your balance, with your work and your family and your friends, because 
that's the only way that that like I can tell you coming from seven years married like that's the only way you guys are going to make it is if you have your separate things and then you meet in the middle I mean there are every love story is so unique too at the same time but that's definitely and I'm such I like to let things happen organically with the wedding photography business it just happened organically I I've had lots of different business ideas and I'm just kind of thinking huh I'll just wait see if like organically that happens so um like I actually met this guy in a Lord Co parking lot a little while ago um it was I quite cute do you know what a meet cute is yeah no I know this because of the movie the holiday okay, I want to teach you something Jackie so Kay. have you ever seen the holiday movie yeah the best. that's where I learned it so you know like the old film guy Alfred I think that's his name Wait, that she picks up because he's like walking down the street yes. and he like whatever Which kind I, of every time that scene comes on where he walks in for his award I sob really sob oh. I just think he's the cutest yeah he ever. is anyways continue yeah I take him as a sugar daddy <laughs> <laughs> I just take him as a best friend Y'all? yeah <laughs> anyways what is it (laughs) oh okay so a meet cute is something that they do in film that like you know a girl drops her books like the setup of their love story right so they okay runs into like some hit them or something like that yeah she gets her shoe stuck in a grate and the the dumpster's coming and he dives in and saves her from the dumpster like when when edward cullen saved bella from the the truck (laughs) in the parking lot yes you got it i love how you go to twilight (laughs) Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Are you a Twilight fan? I was. Oh, oh my god. Clearly. I love it. I love it. Um yeah, you do seem like a little you got that edginess to oh, you. Oh, thank you. Love it. <laughs> wait, so wait. Oh. You met um, you did a meet cute in a Lord Co parking lot? <laughs> I had a meet I had a meet cute. So I'm like filling up I'm driving that old eighty eight Chrysler and I'm filling up the power steering fluid. I go in, ask the lady, I need power steering fluid. So she gives me this thing and I'm go out there and reading it transmission fluid oh no like is it the same thing so this i have to ask somebody because i don't want to mess the car up guy walks out cute blonde blue eyes really cute like beard whatever <laughs> like just my type <laughs> um and then so i ask him is this the same thing and he's like oh like let me do it for you and i'm like nope like i'm doing it anyways uh we had like a little conversation that he found me on instagram and yeah. Oh, that's so that cute. That is a meet cute. That that's kind of cute. cute. So like, yeah, cute. I mean, you can go on dating apps are great too. You just, yeah, I don't know. You just never know. Yeah, it can happen in the weird way. Yeah. In a weird way. And not at the bar, you guys. How did you meet your boyfriend? Me? Yeah. We actually met in grade four. Really? Yeah. And then. <clears throat> they haven't been dating since grade four. No, <laughs> but my guy best friend played hockey with him. So we met in grade four. And then we met again when we were 18 after oh a concert gosh. slash rave. <laughs> love it uh, it's true <laughs> but i say concert because it sounds better right and after she watched twilight no fuck I'm you <laughs> <laughs> no he actually was drunk and asked me to shower with him on the first night because we went oh to life gosh. in color sorry mom wow we already and, talked about that on the podcast yeah and i was like oh like no and i for some reason fell in love with him <laughs> oh my gosh i love that sometimes like sometimes the first night or meeting someone and being drunk is so great because you break down so many yeah, walls yeah and you, you're like, yeah, it's sometimes a little awkward the next morning you wake up and you have a little bit of anxiety from the alcohol. Mm-hmm. But if you made a good decision, they're cute. And yeah. you're just like, whoa, and how you did they laugh at it? Like, as long as you're both drunk and not just one of you. Right. Yeah, we were both yeah. drunk. And he was like, <laughs> I remember you from grade four. And then I was kind of like, how the hell does this kid remember me from grade four? I'm so intrigued. And then the rest is history. Yeah, because he changed a lot. Yeah. He said, four. but I'm the only girl at the party. He, but he remembers what I was wearing, Bailey. Don't try and knock girl. this story. You were the it's only girl at the party. Of course, he's going to no, remember. No, he what. told me I was wearing a turtleneck with a dress over top. And I just think wow, that was a very, very cute outfit. Trendy. Oh my very God. Me. Very Gosh, do you like wearing turtlenecks? <laughs> yeah, I love them. Oh. They like choke you, though. No, she oh, lives in them. them. I like buy like, all Jackie's going to be the thrift store buried in a crop. Like, I don't yeah. like that choking feeling. I love it. It's so no, warm. Like Jackie's going to have an open casket. It's going to be a black ribbed crop. She said, unless I'm in bed. <laughs> like but not like uh, all day yeah. <laughs> i love you you're so oh funny uh, so the wine's really hitting me Can um I, I thought you were really reserved when i first met you just really? so you know i was so wrong why is that i don't know 
know. Well, also it's a professional environment. We were yeah, doing you're a photo right. shoot. You were the photographer. So I get that. And I thought like us suggesting certain things for the photography, you were, you were uncomfortable, <laughs> but little. No, I do remember this afterwards. She was like, oh, I just thought. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I, was no, I? No, 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 no. It was good. Trust me. It was like we were suggesting certain things and you were like, I don't even remember, honestly, at this point. And I'm in my mind. is like, I'm like, no, girl, it was. You I said, got hired for a reason. Lit, like, <laughs> if you want to do the shoot, then become a photographer. It was that you suggested <laughs> someone went shirtless with like a c- pillow to like cover right, up and right, jackie right. was like right. oh i didn't know she had that in her I love it. <laughs> oh really yeah. yeah oh my gosh she's no, so timid for that. when i first or i guess when you're working you're like quiet and in the zone right but really you're just like a freak <laughs> <laughs> i'm cr- i'm a super the freak, street, freak in the <laughs> oh yeah um okay so i just want to ask one last question before we let you go and we go watch some reality tv but um <laughs> like we do mm-hmm. what would be your biggest takeaway from this journey because i know it's been a few years and it's been heavy but you bring so much lightness so what is your biggest takeaway Mm, yeah that's good and it's so loaded but i'll keep it as simple as i can have grace for yourself have grace for what's happened to you um what you've done what people have done to you and i think that when you can really have grace for yourself you have grace for other people and you're easier to accept the people around you. And then ultimately that opens up different doors of opportunity and of love and really will fill your soul. And um, yeah, like you get one life and you can choose to just focus on the bad or, you know, you can focus on what's good and laugh at the bad and just move on. I love that. Honestly, you're so inspirational. I know. And I love your positivity so much. I don't even really know how to describe it. Like when I'm in the same room as you, my energy, I can just feel it. Like not that I'm getting more energized, but like I feel lighter. Like I just feel like you have something special. And I don't say that about a lot of people. Like you really do just have something special about you. Well, someone did say something about how my year and my name was like this number. And I don't really know much about like Like numerology. Right. Interesting. She said that I had a really powerful number. So I don't know. Well, you're about to be Madison Square Garden. I was literally yeah. just going to say. So <laughs> what is that number then? <laughs> right. Oh, I got to look that up. I love numerology. Yeah. It's so interesting. Well, but no, yeah. it's your first name. It's something about like your first name and then the year you're born. Interesting. I've never had yeah. anything with my name before. Only my birthday and like time. Do you know that some right. people see colors? Yeah. Yeah. Or Whoa. Well, I like- saw colors once when I w- did shrimps. <laughs> That's so that's, Whoops. That's yeah, probably I mean, bad. That, <laughs> I'm sorry. Some people, no, or, on some that note, do all right. <laughs> let words. everybody know where they can find you, stalk you, follow you. Right. Yeah. It's just Mads these days on Instagram. Check out her cute trailer and her cute cat. You have two Instagrams, yeah. don't you? You have your I, work one oh, too. Oh, right. And my work one's on there, but. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Plug it, sister. Plug it. Okay. It's called These Days Photo Video. Yeah. So, you know, and if anybody little... is looking to hire a bomb ass photographer in the right. Vancouver Fraser Valley area, this girl is your girl. I will never right. use anybody else. Right. It would be a complete honor. Mm. All right. Well, thank, thank you so much you. for being thank here. You we guys. love you. Thank oh, you. Love it. Okay, friends, wait before you go. Thank you so much for listening as always. But please, if you are loving the episodes, if we're making you laugh and feel less alone during quarantine, Um, there's a free way that you can really, really, really support the podcast. And that is by subscribing, reviewing, um, rating us five stars. It truly honestly helps us so much. There's so many podcasts out there and with every review and every, um, subscription, it just helps get the word out there and helps us, um, grow. Also, just make sure you're also subscribed to our podcast and it's downloading every week. If you have to search for it, that means that you are not subscribed. So please just do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, our Facebook group is What Day Is It Friendships on Facebook, which is a secret group that we let you in. You just have to answer a few questions. And lately, there's been a lot of quarantine memes in there. So that's some good content you guys want to see. It's a really good little community place where you can feel like you have some people to talk to. So make sure you check it out. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next week. And we're sending you all the good quarantine vibes. 